Hey parents, did you know that we lose more kids on Algebra 2 class than any other high school class combined? This is what we normally call it a crash and burn, not recover Algebra 2. So why is that? You would think this is only applicable for kids who are not good in math. Actually, not so. I find I work more kids who excelled in middle school math actually have more crash and burn with Algebra 2. So this is what we want to talk about today. Hi, I'm Dr. Phoenix Pan, a performance coach at Door to Math, where we use math to build confidence, turn those tears into triumphant smiles. This channel is built for you, where we share all the insights, uh, wisdom, and tips uh, what works in the trenches. If you like this channel, click that like button and subscribe. All right, back to the topic. Why is that Algebra 2 is crash and burn? especially for the kids who actually excelled in middle school. So, you see, normally kids take Algebra 2 as a junior, 11th grade, right? By then, most kids actually know what to expect because they've taken Algebra 1 as a freshman, uh, Geometry as 10th grader. So, by junior year, they know more or less what to expect. But if your child got ahead in middle school, there's a higher risk with crush and burn Algebra 2 for three reasons. First one, in this particular scenario, your child would not have seen Algebra classes at high school level for two, four years. Geometry is a proof-based class, so it's an entirely different thinking. Uh, reason number two is that Algebra 2 is a heavier class by nature. It's a gateway class. It transitions from the lower class of Algebra 1 and Geometry to the higher math of Trigonometry and Precalculus. Itself, it's a heavier class. Reason number three is that it's just a tougher competition all around, because by then, your child will be competing with juniors who are very serious about application for colleges. Right, so three tough reasons there. So what can you do so that your child doesn't get caught up with this crush and burn with the Algebra 2 and actually retain their momentum gained from hard study in middle schools, right? Three things where I recommend at um, work, recommend my clients, my math kids to do. The first one is a use a free online course like Khan Academy to brush up on Algebra 1 way before, at least one month before they take Algebra 2. Even if your child, you know, don't get back to school normally, uh, end up doing the online, you know, you prepare for the worst case. Even if it's an online Algebra 2, still brush up on Algebra 1, one month before. Second thing is line up a qualified professional help, a tutor, a performance coach, way before your child actually needs the help. Test drive a couple cases. Make sure the learning style and the teaching style actually do match. The last one is my personal favorite one. And this one not only gives your child a head start, but it also prepares them and motivate them because give them a college level competition. Specifically, I always recommend my math kids to go take Algebra 2 equivalent at a community college level in the summer. Again, the last one might take a little bit of extra work, but it's so worth the effort because to gain the momentum in middle school it takes hard work. It's going to take even more work, a little bit more, to keep that momentum so that you kids can get ahead, right? Don't waste that golden opportunity. All right, that's it for this week. Come back more for more tips, insights, and practice that works from the trenches. Until next time, happy parenting.